Would you mind getting a message to all our funeral guests when they land? Of course. Inform them that I will walk with Jack tomorrow. Alone, if necessary. I wouldn't even call this a biopic. Uh, I would just uh, say that it's an approach to probably one of the most interesting women in the 20th century. I thought it would be a fascinating thing to explore, and when I was linked up with Pablo, he sort of helped take that to a whole other level in terms of exploring her humanity um, that underlies her public image. My approach was just to, to try to understand her, what she went through, and I thought that she was just uh, doing something very, very special in the history of the world. We're not here, you know, to tell people what happened. We're here to tell people how we feel with her, and we want to share that emotion. It was definitely daunting to take on someone that people know so well, um, all, all of the aspects of how they speak and how they move and how they look. And luckily, I think that for the film, that's definitely a part of it to, to capture these sort of details of the real person, but also it's imbued with a great deal of imagination for all of the things we don't know that, that were kind of deleted from the history. There's a lot of raw material to try to gain some insight. Um, and I think, you know, obviously you want to feel some obligation to not contradict any of the superficial facts in terms of chronology and what actually happened. But when you're exploring what her experience was like and as a person, then I think there's a lot of license one can and should take. And that's, you know, what Pablo and Natalie have done so brilliantly. It was definitely different to, to have these very exact things, particularly with the White House tour, which we reproduced almost exactly, tried to, of course, you know, where every pause and the rhythms of how she's speaking and where she takes the breaths, I tried to, you know, um, learn and definitely a different approach. But it was, it was great because it gave a real basis that then I felt like was a springboard for, for just kind of being free to try anything. It was like a very sort of uh, a specific kind of work. And, and to do that, you need, of course, a great DP mm -hmm. because there's no mistakes allowed if you're going to try to do something like that. And Stefan Fontaine did something unbelievable with the camera work and the lighting. So I was able to trust that we, was, we, we could do that. And, and yeah, it's a movie that it was simply shot. You know, you would, there's a few things that we did on green screen and, and it was more technical, but most of it is just performance. I think the assassination days were the hardest. It's a lot of technical kind of stuff because because there were there was like mixing of footage with trying to match real things. It, there was a technical aspect and a green screen aspect and then it's basically like the most unimaginable event. I mean she's the only person in history who's really had that ever happen. So um, to get into that moment when there's so many other aspects of effects and, you know, blood coming out at the right time and the camera moving at the right time, that was, that was oh, yeah, probably yeah. the most challenging. And tell General de Gaulle that if he wishes to ride in an armored car or in a tank for that matter, I won't blame him. Why are you doing this, Mrs. Kennedy? Oh, I'm just doing my job. <laughs>